shit why? exclusive. Why? 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 Bitch, I'm from the rack. I wear we white lows and Gucci socks. Why? Why? 50s in the Glock. Huh? Tax with shoe screens tied to the top. Still hit the party walk. See your ops, send a bunch of shots. And watch that back door, cause you know these hoes setting up. Yeah. Been so much in love, she ain't leaving, still let me fuck. Damn. I be steady clutching, cause I don't be knowing who to trust. The word, man. It's your boy Lil Zo. Session podcast. We in the building. Got my boy Young Stacks in the building today. Stack of belly. You already know. We out west with it, man. Had to come tap in, man. You know, this motherfucker barely in the city. So when he is in this motherfucker, we had to come and get him in for the interview. We've been working on this shit for like a year. How you feel, man? How you doing? Locked in. I see. Work. Working, man. We just finished what shit going on four hour long down the studio session working on the song. Fucking around, back and forth. Man, yeah, back and Chopped forth, in and out from the sessions. Real like, nigga shit. That was in and out of debates, goddamn politicking and shit. Goddamn. But look, man, we in this motherfucker in this live 2021 man session podcast, and we had we starting this shit off right. Um, this man, I mean, I had to come and get you. I've been trying, like I said, for the last fucking year to come and grab you. Yeah, um, last more, year I was bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. but more recently, Dang, man, you know, the Stack of Valley tape, goddamn, uh, the hit single you just dropped, yeah. uh, and shit, I'm in here listening now, you trying to follow up that motherfucker, man, so, man, just, just run me through a little bit about just, like, the last year, like 2020 for you, and and just how you coming right now for 2021. 2020, the unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Shout out my boys from Memphis, though. But look, we locked in, though. 2020, I really locked in, though. Like, one shit else to do, so I'm really going to stay. Yeah. I already had it coming. I had the name. Mm hmm. Been screaming the name on the tape, but mm -hmm. I had to put that bitch together the right way and then, you know, make it shake. Fuck with bigger rank and bigger put me in tune with some people to make sure I was doing that shit the right, mm -hmm. all the way right. Mm -hmm. Took off. I did everything else, so why not try it this way and see what, what happened? Right. The response has been crazy, so. Like, so yeah. you would say just like more 2020, just like as an artist for you, just like getting things more structurally yeah, organized and shit it. like you that? Yeah. Niggas doing other shit. I, the money from the rap shit don't come. Right. Just doing other shit. Mm -hmm. Getting to it for real. Yeah, so I gotta jump into it with this with this track, man. Just swing my door. This shit is fucking going crazy, man. And and a lot of niggas don't know, man, if they not up on stacks, man. This ain't that wasn't the first link up between you and her. Like, yeah, I rocked some shit before, what I think twenty sixteen, bro. Like up, almost five years ago yeah, now. Like, I, I was been rocking shit. shit. Damn. I wouldn't even want, for real, like yeah, really locked in. I'm just. Do this shit. I'm doing this shit. I'm making the tape though, but I want always locked in on the rap shit. Uh -huh. I'm man. I'm just bullshitting. But that shit did went crazy. Uh -huh. Real style, million views. Plus. Right. Yeah. So, like, I just think like that was probably a big stepping stone with just the, the reaction from it to probably let, yeah. Let for you real, that and it let me know like yeah, like it's that they, time. They, they fuck with you off this shit. So like, keep going for real. Yeah, and do this shit. And like we was even talking earlier though too, like the Stack of Valley tape, just like in general, like you you could tell you was really grinding and working hard on it, cause like we was talking about to get the money. Like, All the songs really shit. new. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out K Stop, my boy K Stop, yeah. That. Yeah. That's crazy. You like yeah, who? I fuck with that. Uh -huh. He ain't even say nothing. You see the nigga ain't right. even say nothing. Nah, that's what I was saying. That's what's crazy. Like, like, that's yeah, crazy. like, yeah, I peeped you give him his little his props and shit because I really fuck with the <clears> song, <throat> though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really like the song. And I, like, I listen to the tape and shit. Like, you know, that's one of them ones. Like, you know, you, them, 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 that's the non-skippables. You feel me? So that's why I really try to make it. Like, that's my whole thing, though, in my own lane. But the stack belly was just like, how you bullshit? You come on some pox shit. Like, what's up? You yeah. me? Right, right. Like, Machiavelli, I ain't out here. It definitely had to be hard. Just I'll definitely me. say, yeah, because if you was going to run a play on Machiavelli. But I wasn't even trying to run a play because I don't really own it. Like, the right, music ain't right. there, just the title. Like, right. Shit, no, no, but at least when you do open it up and you listen to it and you stream it, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you just like, what the fuck is this? Like, it's got quality to the tracks. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. all the way down, I think it's what, uh, 12 to 15 tracks or so? 12. 12 on there. And all of them are pretty good songs, so that's what I'm saying. Like, you'd be really doing that. 
And then, like, today, like, we in the studio, like, you know, you working on this shit, talking about probably dropping it this week or so. Yeah, just a freestyle thing, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I'll be doing them on my page. Uh Uh-huh. Record the shit, record the shit, so I'm like, all right, record And so now you just Drop decided shit. to put it down. Why the music? Because they always want new music. So right. Like, all right, then you never know what's really going to stick. It, can't, it don't even have to be an original song. You doing freestyle. Mm-hmm. This shit go through the roof. They fucking with you off of freestyle. So what would you say, like, off the stack of belly? The tape, you know, the, the, the single, yeah. the world style. What's my movie? favorite? Like, yeah, what's tape? your favorite off the tape? Mm-hmm. I don't even know. I can't even tell you for real. The intro, though. Yeah. Because the intro probably like, all right. That's when I knew, like, all right, this bitch stack of belly. I need the uh, intro. Go crazy. I, the right. song was called Full Wow. I'm like, uh-huh. no, nah, this bitch got to be called Intro. Uh huh. And just leave it at that. Just, just go crazy. Yeah, that's probably the one. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. What would you say is like, your your follow up strategy now, like now that you just made a like you know you made some noise early like you say you weren't taking it serious. Now that you you made you know the noise enough to where it's like alright it's time to take it serious. Yeah. What would you say your follow up strategy is now coming off the stack of early in twenty twenty? I got uh, in my own lane too. So putting niggas to go catch up to the old shit. The other right. take when right. a nigga did have to see a double game bang. Uh huh. I had some. I had balling on that bitch too. Zay told me produce that mm-hmm. bitch. That shit was going crazy. You did I have a and you shot a, vid- a visual for that. Yeah, I went to A and shot that. That was. Yeah, look, you did have a visual. I had for stack that. money on that bitch too. That was like my first lick. Yeah, first song. So you gonna make the the two, the two so you can bring people back to some of your old shit Screaming, too. we need that check. That's strong. <laughs> That's strong. So even though, but it's just the brand on it. Right. right. And I'm on some of the same shit. Like, you, know, you listen to the first one, it's like different, different mm-hmm. moods. So I'm like, on the same shit. Just to show versatility and all that. Talk to me a little bit about, you know, I see on your videos and through your music, uh, your connection with the Shine Music Group. Yeah. We locked in. Yeah. Shine Music. That shit tatted. Yes. Yeah. We label. That's what we doing. Yeah. Shine Music, yeah. Yeah, man, we got to touch this. Come get with it. <laughs> we're shining out in L.A. <laughs> Come get with ago, it. Man. And, and y'all was doing big things. Nah, we're, we're like, we like in, though, like, like, the, like, for real, like, trying to bring some hope, something different to the and city, really though. working. But, like, you know, some real shit, like, some Master P type shit. Like man. Some motherfucker. Had niggas coming in, cash money, real big, though. That's, yeah. that's the type of shit nigga trying to bring to the city, you know, like, Shit like that in Chicago, that's L.A., New York. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to bring that shit in. It's like, we gonna do this shit. Talk to me a little bit about... Super big. A little bit about, like, how it's been for you as an artist. Like, we dating back 2016, you know, so, uh, like, still dope gangbang, we talk about, to now, to, like, swing my door and stuff. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about your evolution and your sound. Like, how was it for you trying to find your sound over the years to this to where it sounds like now the stack of vegetables like you sound comfortable yeah like you literally sound comfortable that's every it's track. really like mm-hmm. just just doing shit like in the city it's a whole bunch of talent in the city like we was chopping it up early it's a mm-hmm. whole bunch of different ways different sounds the same topic though same story like yeah we from the city mm-hmm. whatever side you from the same shit going on you feel me so I'm like yeah like, my man's Jay, he like, yeah. I fuck your voice different though. When I first heard just the voice, your voice, how you coming on the bitch? So I'm like, all right, I just gotta get on that bitch and just do me, really. Just yeah. that's it. That's how I really came about. Like, yeah. Just, just do you. Yeah. And yeah. a lot of the elevation on the shit just going through different shit. You feel me? Going, that's trial and the music. Like everything. Like whatever I make. I'm trying to put that shit out because that's what, how I'm feeling right away. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put that shit out. Say, I right, know. And now if it's out, l- later on after I made him, time to shoot a video, I ain't going to want to shoot it because I don't even feel like that no more. Right. You feel me? I so feel it ain't even, I mean, but that's like... The, like, it ain't even like that no more. So that's why yeah. I'm trying to work. So when I yeah. That's the shit out being an artist. You videos, do, all that shit. I, I know when I'm going to put the shit outside. Everything gotta be lined up. Mm-hmm. You gotta do it the right way. Whatever a nigga trying to do, nigga got 
got to do it all the way, the right way. Or it ain't going to work. Now, uh, you know, like you like you just mentioned, uh, how we talked about just different waves and stuff being, uh, you know, from all over the city. What was, how did it be from, like, out west influence your style of music? Because, I mean, not, now you don't sound... You know, too much like the like we would you know probably call the classic drill rap uh, uh, yeah. sound, but you do you do that like wasn't really our West music like that, right? It's like that now. It's just different. But at first, it was just like super party music, right? You turned the, you feel me? Mm-hmm. That was the way too. I still did, but I'm, what I'm doing, I'm putting that shit in some of the new shit too. Right. So a lot of that shit gonna be on the in my own game too. Mm. So. You know, you took a lot of time, you know, being in L.A., trying to push in your music, you know, doing some networking and things like that. How's the been being in L.A., being able to work on your music, being able to, like you say, be behind some, some, some people, some backing? How's that been as an artist? The L.A. shit, it's like, you go out there and work, you know, you fuck around in L.A., but it's like, going out there, let you know it's like possible. You in the city, you stuck, you seeing the same shit. You ain't in the trap, is a trap. You ain't ain't no way out. Whatever you see, whatever you do, you stuck. Mm -hmm. Going out to LA, just seeing different shit. Yeah, that's shit. Nigga still, nigga gonna be him wherever. Right. No, but that that probably does help as a creative. Yeah, 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 being in the you 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 gotta be in that mode when she, you ain't. Let your hair down, but like nigga, you mo, you seeing different shit, so you don't even feel like that no more. Mm-hmm. Like you, Instagram is this seeing a bunch of bullshit. You know, I'm on bullshit. So I want to talk a little bit about two. Uh, take my soul. Yeah. That was a completely the take my soul. See, you know, that was like some. Not, that's how I, that's the out west. Yeah, shit. you know what I'm it's saying. That's why I want to talk about that because you you melodizing yeah, on it a little. Later. Yeah, but you really talking your shit like Yeah. If niggas listen for real, they learn something. Yeah. Gonna hear some shit. That's what I'm saying, man. So it's like you really experimenting with different sounds here and there. Niggas listen, they gonna learn something. Yeah. That's all a nigga gotta do. (laughs) So can we expect like a project from you? Coming down in twenty twenty. First quarter. I'm trying to smash on their ass. Yeah. But look, they They got me waiting. I be it's like a form when they yeah. dropping and shit. So it's like the dates. I probably been had the shit in. Mm-hmm. I'm still working on this shit right. in my own lane too. But this bitch gonna be coming. Yeah. Like I want it. I want that bitch February, but it's gonna be coming like, like, like April. What first quarter? Roughly in the first quarter. Yeah, still. I want to drop it like end of March. Yeah. For the summer, try to try to heat shit up. Yeah, and it's still, I'm still gonna be dropping shit off Stanley Valley too. Like, That's what I was gonna ask you. Though. Yeah, you got you got any visuals Video, that you mm-hmm. plan on dropping? Change the heart, and, um, this shit gotta come out right now. Cause yeah. This shit drop. It. <laughs> yeah. This shit change the heart uh, and get the money though. Yeah. You say you gonna shoot a video for get the money? This gonna be crazy. Yeah, you gotta. I feel like you still got because Stack of Valley is a really good tape that you closed out the year with, and like I feel like, I feel like personally that tape you need to continue to push like yeah, nah, a little bit know. longer, just a little bit longer before that next one because it's still so classic and like you just dropped the visual for Nigga so really, Yeah, this independent shit nigga just learned me trial and error building the team the right way. But we don't. What's been it's the most be big though? Cause what, the music lasts forever. The screen. That's facts. What's been the most difficult part though? Like being an independent artist. Like, what's been the really struggling part? Like, it's not super having the resources. So just going through the shit is like, damn. I know somebody know this shit, but right. you know what? You'll be doing shit and sit back, be watching you do that shit wrong. You know? Right. You could have told me this and once you figure it out. It'd be like, damn, all right, this how this how. This shit go, but that shit, it's all like, it's the grind. It's whatever you're doing, like, you're going to have, you're going to have to figure out how to get through that shit. How does, it, how does it feel then, like, personally as an artist where, you know, you can even sit back and say, like, you didn't even, you weren't even locked in for a period of time. Yeah, a lot of times, through, like, not even a full year. Like, we were chopping it up early. It'll really just be like a song. Uh-huh. So how do you how do you feel though like to go from that to like now you getting that notoriety you getting the views you getting the streams and like you see the numbers like how does that feel as an artist personally from going from that to now? 
be looking at this shit. I'll be playing now. Learn them, be looking at this shit. Like, yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah, they fucking with it. Yeah. I see. Just, I even think that's just you, keep a nigga just going. You even uh, nigga. shit got on fucking say cheese. I think the, the other cheese. day, uh, the, uh, the trash is yeah, fucking. Must that what's sweet what's my doves on Apple yeah. Music playlist. They put it. They add on. They Apple added Music on your playlist. Well? I don't even know. All I be hearing is get your shit on playlist. And, and they got on now. the playlist too. I'm tell. I'm checking the shit, nigga. Right. I'm telling you. I'm looking at just looking. I'm looking. I'm. Congratulations, that bitch been out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, turn me up then. Shout yeah. out to them. I think that's enough to just be like, yeah, I take it serious. You know, you yeah, can't keep going that. now. And they're like, yeah. So it's does that make you like, like more picky now on how you make your music nope. or how you want to drop it? No. Nope. No. No. Nah. Man, wherever I'm at, I'm whatever I do. I'm be me. I don't mm-hmm. care if I'm. Well, I gotta be me. I can't even fake you. Don't you know what I mean? trying, like, nigga, try to. You can't even please everybody. I've been like that. I learned that a long time ago. So, me trying to see some shit and, like, you know, I can't get to my head. I'm cool with the shit, but I'm still, I ain't content. Because then I ain't trying to be doing a lot of this. Yeah. I'm trying to get on some other shit, too. Yeah. And be like, yeah, what? That nigga going crazy. That nigga. What was your main motivation behind like starting a rap in general? Like, I don't know. Just like listening to the music, like, just be like damn, you listen to that shit, you just be escaping shit. You just be goofy, you feel me? Or like, however you feeling, or whatever you feeling, yeah. you the music gonna make you feel that shit ten times more. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta talk about my shit. Let these people know how I feel. Yeah. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna sit back. I ain't gonna really say too much, but I got it. Were you, were you always like, a, like, like, even when you were young, like, was music always? And like thing? learning all the songs, like knowing the songs once I knew, like, I, the song could just drop and I listen to that shit and I know all the words next time I hear the song. Yeah. So you had real attention to detail in music? Put that shit together. Mm-hmm. I know how they did that. And my cousin, my little cousin, really. That nigga, um, I be going to my auntie crib to shit, you feel me? Yeah. He over there. My little cousin, he, uh, that nigga be rapping the shit that I couldn't rap, and that shit would be making me mad. Like, mm-hmm. damn, how the fuck do these niggas rapping fast as hell? That's right. why I was never really up on the bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the super Midwest rap. Uh-huh. He knowing that shit. I'm like, I don't even, I can get all these words out right now. Uh-huh. You feel me? Uh, like, like, he rapping that shit. Like, like, he, like, he, like, he, like, he, boom. Thug, yeah. Boom, you feel uh-huh. me? They Midwest, right? Like, so that's all like, I was saying. That shit fast as yeah. hell. I'm all on some. Some South shit, listen right. to that shit. Right. You feel me? And then just fucking around. Yeah, probably like, yeah, you don't sound like you from Chicago. I was up on that shit. On the South music? Yeah, like, like just as a shorty, though. Who's some of your artists, though, like coming up even now, too, though? Like, who's some of your artists that like you was probably listening to that's like, in your rotation? Everybody who came hard, like we was chopping up that yeah. whole drill scene from Chicago. Right. I mean, I was, we can zone that shit, you yeah. can. When no, really no other way you want on that shit, and then you just, yeah. you, uh, you hit the other shit that's on the radio. Like, but the main was, shit we was looking at. Niggas was, really yeah. turned up to shit, but I'll be listening to some other shit too from time to time, because mm-hmm. I just fuck with the music. Mm-hmm. We listen to some other, other shit. Yeah. But yeah, the Chicago drill scene, like I think for like our era type shit, had yeah, the yeah. probably the heaviest influence on what Go we with. Was listening to. You can yeah. see it. Mm-hmm. You ain't listen to that shit. You lame. Yeah, <laughs> for real. You were the lame. You, you lame. lame so you just, just like, shit, yeah. You just didn't understand that. That's what's saying. That's what you better be playing. All right. This was especially in Chicago. Thing. Just because Chicago, Chicago's music has such an influence on every bit of music there is now. So I think that just makes it crazy. What do you think? Like, who do you think from Chicago is like some of the heavy hitters in your book? You know that you may even be really willing to work with. Like, I feel like any any nigga from Chicago who made it out of this rap shit, like made some shit out of this rap shit out of Chicago. Yeah, that's a salute, niggas. Like for real, yeah. come 
like uh, niggas can have whatever they got going on in the city. Like niggas make make some out of nothing. I salute these you niggas. Know, like y'all niggas, y'all got something going. My whole thing is y'all niggas feeding y'all family. If that's y'all niggas, better be feeding y'all family. Right. <laughs> yeah. but that's yeah. the goal though. It's like, all right. And niggas did that shit. I'm seeing niggas doing that shit. So like, hey, like I bumped heads with a lot of Chicago artists that's up there. Mm. Dirt. Mm-hmm. Used to run to him at the studio. We in the neighborhood ourselves. Yeah. Fucking around. Mm-hmm. Studio in the neighborhood. That's right. I seen the niggas get their deal and all that shit. We was at like club and shit. Yeah. And they come through the whole hood on the tour bus. Mm-hmm. Then shit. Sosa used to fuck with um some niggas out west. He came out west, shot the video. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy. So just seeing them niggas like elevate. Really motivated. Come, you go look at the tech video. I'm in that bitch. Yeah. He came out west. He was going yeah, crazy. Definitely was out west in the tech with video. The white, um, with the white look. G- you yeah. feel me? With the G bag and crew with the red inside. Yeah. Top missing. Yeah. yeah. That's my cousin shit. We, um, me came out west fucking around. Then, same shit. Like, I met her a minute ago. He was just going crazy too. Like, mm-hmm. he was doing a feature. So you already know he doing the feature. So he back then, this early on, like mm-hmm. niggas just getting his feet wet in this shit. And he did the, the nigga who song it was he rented the cop from my brother and shit. So I heard it was their own song shit. Him was like slap. And then shot the video. I'm like, yeah, I fuck these niggas. Cause some real shit went on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They official. Mm-hmm. You whoop, see. Man, you doing a lot. It's of- crazy though, cause just seeing the shit, yeah. and then it's like, yeah, niggas bumping heads. Man, we working, we locked in. We just seeing niggas out of bed. But it's, I think, what's what's the testament to you is just as like as an independent artist. The thing I think you do so well is you use the the, the things around you and your connections very very well. Yeah, talk you got to me to about though. yeah. That's talk why. To that's that's really why it's like. I'm niggas still going in this shit because if I ain't, that's what I was learning. I'm learning. That's a nigga in the streets like that. Nigga, you gotta be connected. You mm-hmm. feel me? Your face car gotta be good. So when I'm going town, I jump on the road, whoop, with bigger rank because my shit popping in the south. So he, yeah, come, come do the shit with me. So I get on the tour with him. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's how I'm growing the shit, running follows fan base, hand to hand. We going crazy. Yeah. I think that's what a lot of independent artists fail to realize is that yeah. sometimes you know you, you gotta know you gotta know people. And with Stack of Belly, I double back on all the same people. Yep. Fuck with me. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you just off the strength, like because well, nigga being one hundred though. Then, they're feel? like two times bigger than they were then. Now, so yeah, everybody like, working too. Yep. Everybody working. If you're still on my radar, you working. You feel me? If your ass out of sight, you out of mind. There you go. You gotta be active. Yeah. Go yeah. back on the stack of value. Now what? This is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. I'm on lane two coming. Now it's like, yeah. And now they're gonna be waiting for it because they seen what you previously did. Nigga work. That's why I wanted to drop that bitch right away. But it's cool though, we still uh-huh. gotta be. Yeah. Drop that bitch. Stacks, man. Appreciate you, man. Let me come through for this. Nah, interview. for sure, real nigga. I appreciate you nah, coming for through, sure, man. Know? Uh, nice just keep man. working, man. We got we got some more weed to go. Going good weed, man. you know, you know what it is. You know how we rocking session, session podcast, man. session podcast. Pulled up out. on me out west, and we got it popping. I don't know what's going on, man. I'm in every fucking hood, man. So I ain't worried about it.